We are rapidly approaching an amazing 10,000 subscribers and once we do, I'll be giving five lucky people the deluxe monthly subscription card. All you've got to do to enter is make sure you are subscribed. Hey guys, Jay Spartan here and welcome back to my channel. So we've recently had wishlists added to the game, so I thought I'd do a quick video explaining how it works and the heroes you should be putting in your wishlists. So first of all, to explain how wishlists work, um, AFK Arena put out this post on Facebook that answers a few of the frequently asked questions. Um, so the first question, when summoning heroes, why am I still receiving heroes that aren't on the wish list? And in short, the answer is that although these heroes are on your wish list, it's not guaranteed you're going to get them because then that would be a little bit too easy to get the heroes you want. Uh, but so unfortunately, we can't get that. Um, but that, that's all. So basically, the reason you don't get the heroes on your wish list straight away is because it's never guaranteed you're going to get those heroes in your next pull. Um, are the differences between placing one hero and 20 heroes? The answer is no. So no matter how many heroes you put on your wish list, you haven't got more of a chance of getting the hero if you've only got one hero on your wish list compared to 20. Um, I don't understand how that works really because surely if you've got one hero on there and you've increased the odds, then that hero is now the favourite. And if you put 20 in, then those 20 are the favourites. Um, but they've obviously got some sort of algorithm for working it out. Um, and they say, no matter how many heroes are in your wish list, you don't increase the odds by having less. So basically the best thing to do is to put 20 heroes in the wish list. Um, and then the last question is, all my wish lists are full, but I'm still summoning common and rare heroes. Why? And the answer is the wish list does not increase the chance of elite heroes being produced. Um, but it does increase your chance of getting the hero that you want if you do get an elite pull. Um, so when you do your summoning and it turns out to be an elite card and the card turns over and you see the person revealed, there's more of a chance of that person being the one that you wanted. So first up we have the light bearers and it already selects five heroes for us and to be honest there's only one hero that I would change. Um, I would remove Estrilda. The only reason being that I find her really, really weak. Um, I don't like using her. I'd rather use somebody else. Um, so I'm going to take out Estrilda and instead I'm going to put in Forks because Forks has really, a really, really good um, crowd control skill um, where he can put a hero in his coffin temporarily. Um, and that to me is a skill that I'd rather have instead of a Strilder in my team. But the rest of them look pretty pretty spot on to me. Um, Lucius, I need to get another Lucius. Belinda, um, she can deal some really good area damage. Um, Rain is really good. She's like a support hero. Um, and then Thane as well. So that would be my five light bearer heroes. Obviously... Um, you might disagree on a Strilda. And if you've already got her Legendary Plus, it's probably worth going the whole way with her. Um, but personally, I don't use a Strilda and I can't see myself using her anytime soon. So next up, we have the Maulers. And once again, it pre-selects five heroes for us. But I would actually change a couple of these. Um, so first of all, I would take out Numisu. Um, I really don't rate him as a hero. I do think he is really, really weak. And there are much better healing heroes out there. Um, and I would like to put in Sophia. She's a brand new hero that's come to the game. And she has this really, really cool skill. Um, where she builds up an orb. And then slams it down on the enemy team. Um, so if I go into portraits now. Um, and click on Sophia and test hero. So if you put it on auto, well, we'll put it on manual actually. Um, and when she gets her energy filled up, she'll start charging this orb. And you can manually deploy it sooner. Uh, or you can wait until it gets fully charged and then she'll do it herself. And then boom, just like that, she wipes out the whole enemy team. Um, it's a really cool skill. And that is the reason I want to have Sophia in my team. 
So this next one might surprise a few of you, but I'm actually going to be taking out Virk. And I know this contradicts a video that I made maybe two or three months ago saying that Virk was the most OP hero. Um, when I made that video, um, I was still fairly new to the game and Virk was carrying me through the, the first few chapters. Um, but I, haven't, I hadn't discovered Savius yet. And in my opinion, Savius is far superior to Virk early game. He's much more capable of carrying the team. Um, so I know you'll be wondering why am I putting Savius in? Savius is only a rare card. But the, the Savius that I would get from the pool would be an elite Savius. Um, and I would rather have an elite Savius than an elite Virk early game. So that's why I'm going to be selecting Savius. Um, it does contradict it a little bit um, because Savius again is only an is only like a rare hero and Virk's an elite. But I would be getting an elite Savius, which makes up for it. And I do think you should do the same because early game there's two heroes that really stand out, and that is Shamira and Savius. So if you are early game, definitely please pick Savius. So now moving on to the Wilders, this is a really difficult one for me because there are so many useful Wilder heroes. Um, all the heroes that the game pre-selects are considered good heroes in this game. Um, but then again, Illyrian and Arden are also really, really OP heroes early game uh, and probably late game for Illyrian as well. Um, so personally... And this is all personally now. I need Laika and Namora more than anybody else. Um, I don't need Kaz as much as I need Laika and Namora. Um, but I would also like to have Illyrian, Tassi and Kaz. Um, especially Illyrian because he's a brand new hero. Um, and I do need to strengthen my um, Wilder team. Because the third peaks of time requires a really, really good... Um, wilder team um, so if you're early game definitely put Arden in your wish list because he can CC three enemies at once if he's max level which is crazy because then they can't do anything about it um, but I've already got a legendary plus Arden so I don't need him anymore so that's why I'm not selecting him but what I am going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have Laika and Namora ticked. Um, I want to keep Kaz on this list. I want to keep Tassie on this list. But what I am going to do is take out Ulmus and put in Illyrion. Because I don't have Ulmus yet so it's too late to try and get him Mythic. Um, but I would really like to be able to say I've got the brand new hero. So I am going to be selecting Illyrion, and that is my five Wilder heroes that I would like to have. Um, I definitely need Laika, because I've made a video on her. She is crazy good at boosting your team's stats at the start of a battle. Um, so that's why I'm selecting Laika. And again, Nomura um, has crazy good healing. Um, Kaz, just she loves to deal damage. Um... So that's why I've gone for those five heroes. Again, some of you might disagree, um, but that would be my top five. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Graveborns. So there is one Graveborn we all know is super, super OP, and that hero is Shamira. So she's definitely going to be staying on my list. Um, I have already got her Mythic Plus, so uh, it's... I, I, I need to keep her in my list because in order to ascend her further, I do need to get two more Elite plus Shamira. So that's why she's staying on my list. I know it sounds a bit greedy, but I would really like to ascend her even further to the 1 star, 2 star, 3 star, etc. So that's why she's going to stay in my list. Um, Thoran really hasn't impressed me much in this game. Um, so he's definitely a hero I'm going to take out of this list. But a hero that I definitely want to see more of is Sylvina. So basically Sylvina is super useful in the guild team hunting. As she gets right behind them and then nerfs their damage. So I'd love to get more of her and that's why I've selected her in my wish list. 
Um, if you're early game, I would also recommend that you put Fadan in this list. Um, but he has been nerfed in one of the recent updates. Um, so he's definitely not as good as he used to be. But he's still a very good hero early game. Um, he's also very common. So nice and easy to get to Elite Plus and Legendary. Um, so the rest of them I would like to keep in there. Because I don't know. The Graveborns all round are just really strong heroes. Um, the only two that I need really are Shamira and Sylvina. The rest of them will just be a bonus, I guess. Um, but definitely need Shamira and definitely need Sylvina so I can strengthen my team in the team hunting. Um, but yeah, that is my 20 heroes that I would put in my wish list. Um, let me know who is in your wish list, guys, and who you really, really, really need to get next. Um, for me, it's going to have to be Laika. I need to get Laika to at least Elite Plus soon because right now she's so weak because all of my heroes are Legendary and Mythic and we're going up against Mythic and Ascended teams and then there's just Laika who's playing Elite so I definitely need to get another one of her to make her stronger um, then I'll be laughing but thank you for watching guys uh, as always, I appreciate your support and I'll see you all in the next video.